Joining us now is David Scher, the executive director of the El Paso chapter of the American Red Cross. So, David, the local chapter is among the first responders in disaster. What is the Red Cross here in El Paso preparing as a possible response to Hurricane Michael? Well, thank you, Natasha. It's a pleasure to be here with me with, with you, you know, again. Um, you know, we're, this is what we do throughout the year. We, we have volunteers that are ready. We have supplies and resources that we're ready to mobilize when, some, when a big disaster like a hurricane hits. And so what we're doing here locally is we're assessing our volunteers that are ready, making sure that they have the training and classes all ready to go so that when they are deployed, uh, whether it's disaster, this disaster or any other disaster, that they're ready to hit the ground running. All right, you said in an email to us earlier today that the focus is currently on southern New Mexico and El Paso, and that's due to the Pacific Hurricane Sergio, which Robert has said is going to bring us rain this weekend. What's the response for that? Well, we're also monitoring Hurricane Sergio, and, and we, in fact, I just got an email uh, about 20 minutes ago from El Paso County Emergency Management. We're continuing to monitor. We, you know, it could uh, have as much as five to seven inches of rain. It just depends on how it's going to track over the next couple of days. And so we're also monitoring the availability of our volunteers and resources we need, particularly if we might have to open a shelter and identifying some, some areas within El Paso, Dona Ana, and Hudspeth counties that might be higher risk, areas, higher risk areas than others. Is there any training that goes on locally before you guys head out? Well, most of our disaster volunteers have a number of required training classes that they have to take. Um, so it, it takes a couple of weeks to get all those in. Uh, and throughout the course of the year, they're continuing to take training so that we can make sure that they're ready to go uh, at any disaster, whether it's a hurricane or whether it's a house fire that we, we commonly see here as well. Yeah, and that, on that note, you know, the local chapter is often responding to those house fires, and we certainly have had our share this year, and that means for you all a depletion of funds. So if someone wants to donate for hurricane relief or a general fund, how do they do that? Mm -hmm. Well, we honor the intent of every donor. So if someone wants to donate money to the Red Cross and they want it to go to a hurricane response or to a local fire, they can designate exactly where they want that donation to go, and they can do that at redcross.org. All right, David, thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you.